Hey guys, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Thanks again for joining me. This week's pour is all about what went wrong, and if one can go wrong, 17 more things can also go wrong with some good sprinkled in for some good measure. So let's take a sec to check it out. Okay, now on this week's pour, I'm working on a, a very simple swipe with a cool dark blue base with some metallic silver. And with this metallic silver was gonna be my initial color for the pour. And as I lay my first bit of color down, I go to kind of turn my cup and whoop, bloop, I dropped a big old blotch of silver there. And I literally, my brain just froze and I didn't know what to do. So I just, um, I scrambled. I had to decide, what do I do? How do I correct this? And move forward. I was out of base paint of my blue and thought, oh my gosh, how do I get this off my canvas to continue with my pour and have a look half decent? So. I managed to, you know, get my, my wits together and grab my palette knife and came back and thought, hey, scraping it wouldn't be a bad idea and gave my silver blob a good scrape. I gave this one a scrape backward and then swiped right across the, the blue base. Now that could have been the most critical error of the entire night, but we'll see some more in a few seconds here. Now I really wanted to make this video because I wanted to show everyone out there who is not a pouring artist. Um, you know, this here, that, don't do that. That's no good. So you kind of, it is, it is, you move on. I wanted to show you that we all have these off days where we have goofy mistakes and the game plan just gets tossed right out the window. So my plan here was to cover as much silver as possible, knowing I'd put down way too much and it had way too much time to settle while I was scrambling to figure out how to clean up that blobby mass off the beginning. And so again, I wanted to cover up as much as I could before my swipes happened and use some cool metallic purple along with some peacock blue from DecoArt. And again, wanting to cover as much silver as possible before my swipes happen. And before I get into the swipes of how those went, I'm actually using for my base color, Thalo Blue by Artist Loft, as well as some Oxide Black from Amsterdam. Made a very pretty dark blue that I think I'll use as a base again. Mixed my own ratios. There is only, I don't know, four or five, you know, good drops of black put into my blue, which made a really nice dark navy color. So, and actually these, um, moving to my swipes, my knives I ordered last week came in and this is a, my very first swipe off this palette knife, which could use some more effort and love. I guess practice is the best word to uh, work on. So yeah, my first swipe with that one, not so not so good, but what do you do? This is all about learning. Um, this swipe went a bit better, but again, I've got to get some more practice in it with these palette knives, which will come in some pretty short order in the next week or two. Okay, and keeping in mind during this tilting process, this pour, based on how things have gone so far, A, my initial you know, swipes weren't great. The big blob of silver, not super. Uh, my lacing didn't come out nearly as well as I thought it would be with my new palette knives. Again, that's just me not learning to do my swipe like I wanted to. And of course, I've got some nice color though in the initial, uh, on, the, on the side corner there. This pour in my brain right now, as I'm tilting, wants to go directly in the garbage, but I wanted to give it a shot and see how we did. So um, I began my tilt and wanted to see how I could stretch it out and didn't really have much of a game plan here wanting to, you know, did, I didn't have an end goal because nothing I had done so far really went to plan. And to be honest, that's okay. This is all about learning and experimenting, trying new things. Um, you know what, the, the pour off the beginning turned out terrible that big blob of silver uh, looked awful but as we tilt here see like my color all in all takes care of that big old mess on its own right here so ultimately that big old blob of silver that big old bird poop of metallic silver doesn't matter because it would have tilted off anyway now one thing i did run into again this week and more because this is more prep for myself i didn't have nearly enough paint on the cans and wound up cutting a whole bunch of footage out because I was tilting a lot trying to get this painted stretch and get a decent um, you know decent lacing in there with some nice contrast of colors with my colors on the right hand side there 
to make a pour of this to see how can you know what what I could do and see how, see what I could make of this pour after all. And if you have come this far in the video, thanks again for being here. I appreciate it. And the support for my channel means uh, the world to me. Thanks for your comments this past week and all your likes. I appreciate them. It does mean a lot. So thank you for those. I appreciate it. And again, this video was not meant to be negative. This is more of an opportunity to learn on, you know, for next time. I thought initially this pour would be garbage because of how much I thought went wrong off the hop, but really all in all, this pour kind of came together. Each pour is unique and has its own quirks and likes and dislikes for all of us. And for those of us who do it more regularly than, than others, um, you'll understand that, you know what, not, pour, not each pour is gonna be a masterpiece and that's okay. And also as I round out my tilting here with the end result pretty soon, what are you guys' thoughts on the entire process on Tony's mediocre day we'll call it um this pour is is not shabby but again i want to show your feedback on how you think i did and what your your comments may be so do you like it do you not did i recover okay from the initial um faux pas off the beginning let me know in the comments below um anyway thanks for being here again and if you want to ch check out some more pours which aren't like this take a look at this playlist right here and we'll see you again next time